feels so good to say it again. Welcome back to Resident Evil 7 Biohazard in VR. Now you're hearing a bit of an echo right now because I'm listening to my capture. If the audio quits out, that means my capture quit on me again. <sighs> the last episode of this game that I uploaded on my channel went up on September 23rd, 2017. It's been that long. It's been a couple months shy of a year since I've played this game, and I am so sorry. I hate it when I do that. But that was right around the time Evil Within 2 was coming out, and Assassin's Creed Origins was also coming out in a matter of weeks at that point. More often than not, one of the old games I've been playing gets pushed aside to make room for the new ones, and if recording in VR wasn't such a pain in the ass, Maybe I would have finished this game sooner, but uh, what's in the past is in the past, and we're here now with part 18, finally, and I feel like we're getting close to the end of the game, however, I'm not sure. I'm gonna do my darndest to beat this game right now, today, for me. Couple episodes later for you guys, probably, but... I'm gonna do my best. If you guys know how close I am to the end of this game, please let me know. We're out of the house with the bakers, we're off the ship, and now we're heading underground. <laughs> and I feel like a final showdown with Lucas is showing up because I think Marguerite's dead, and Jack is dead, and uh, Mia's probably dead. Uh, Zoe will be dead. Oh, and also, this game has DLCs. If those DLCs are VR compatible, I might just wanna do them. Um, if you guys know anything about them, let me know if you would want me to play them, because I would actually be interested in continuing this game. Uh, all, DLCs and all. Because it's fantastic. And that's loud. But we're gonna go ahead and continue. Yes, please. Uh, it's about time we did this. So if you guys want a quick recap of, uh, everything you've missed, why don't you just go ahead and, uh, watch the playlist? It's a, it's a good one. It's one of the fi my favorite series I've ever done on this channel. Separation. Mia finds and frees Ethan from his restraints, but history repeats itself, and Ethan must again say goodbye to his wife. He then sets off to find Evelyn, the source of it all, and stop her. And I'm pretty sure Lucas uh, isn't done with us yet. We were about to head into the mines, so and we listened to some weird thing about how there was a chopper circling and they were looking for Evelyn, which is probably the Umbrella Corporation. And then they also mentioned somebody going into the mines, and I thought they were talking about me, but I'm pretty sure they were also talking- they were actually talking about Lucas. Oh god. Wait. 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 Wait! What? Nope. Uh-uh. Nope. 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 Why am I in the mines already? And I knew Lucas was here. That's a bomb. Uh, why am I here? I'm gonna go ahead and end. Yes. I don't know why it loaded me in the mines. No, oh no, no. You know why it loaded me in the mines? Because I started part 18 right after part 17, but I didn't pay attention to how long my webcam was going for, so it stopped right at three hours just as episode 18 was starting. And I didn't notice till like 10 minutes in. That's right. So technically we're not supposed to be down in the mines yet. The, right, because look, these are about 10 minutes apart. So I think this is it. Yes. All right, now I get to sit through another infinitely long loading screen. See you guys in a bit. <laughs> Eventually. Okay, this is where we're supposed to be. Right here, I've just gotten the Magnum. And... Five for... What is that? Oh, that's a stabilizer, okay. Just allow- please bear with me, everyone. It has been like nine months or so since I've played this, so just let me get my bearings. Um... That's assault rifle, I think? Magnum. Knife. I do have my shotgun. Okay. Where's my mower? What? <laughs> oh, boy. I'm probably gonna need medicine, right? I haven't played this game in a long time, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay. 
And I think we'll be all right. I only have four Magnum, which worries me, but I'm gonna do it anyway, at least till the next save station. So I need to give Evelyn her tissue samples back and wrong side. Hopefully that means we'll be good. Okay, so it's been a really long time, so I don't even remember what happens between now and when I stopped last time. We just make sure history doesn't repeat itself. Oh god, I, I haven't played VR in a really long time, at least not horror VR. And, I should have probably also said, this is on the PS4 Pro now, not just the standard PS4. I'll take that. So, yeah, hopefully the quality's better and there's less screen door effect because the quality looks infinitely better for me in here. So, I hope it looks better for you guys, too. That's part of the reason why I pushed it aside, because I wanted to make sure- I wanted to upgrade to PS4 Pro to really see the di- uh, 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 To really see the difference. But I did not expect to wait this long, so that's my apologies entirely. I'm gonna give this Magnum a whirl. Oh, yeah! Oh, that was awesome! What's the reload button? Oh, I don't- I can't because I don't have a thing. Okay, well, let me take, take this out for a while. Screw you! I'm so afraid of the next jump scare because I am not accustomed- ugh, To horror VR anymore! Come on, buddy. Okay, hello, hi, hello, hi, hello. Stay back there, please, stay back there, please. Hey. Man, you really rinse through assault rifle ammo quickly. I'll push big glowing button, why not? Oh. Well, that ain't good. Pardon me, I kinda, what's the, okay. Clicking in the left stick spray. <laughs> oh. Jesus. Uh, my knife is... Okay. Here we go. I, I got this. I'm learning. Oh, right. And also some of the boxes might be trapped. Since I'm pretty sure Lucas is around here somewhere. Uh, yeah. I should probably... I remember somebody telling me that you can kind of tell if a box is trapped if it ticks. So hold on. Let me... I don't hear nothing. And it wasn't trapped. Okay, well, if I don't hear ticking and I hit a box and it blows up, then you're wrong. <laughs> God, I keep thinking I hear monsters. All right, and this is actually really loud, guys. This is, like, there's loud and then there's too loud and this is too loud. Um... No! Open, you bitch. Okay, maybe I'll mess with the volume while I'm on my way down, yeah? That looks like it shouldn't still work, but somehow it does. Going down! Oh, God. Oh, that's- that's- that's disorienting. And it's dark. How do I turn my volume down too far? <laughs> okay. Uh. Why is it so dark?! Oh, shit. Oh, okay. Okay, this doesn't have Outlast 2 vibes at all. Had I beaten Outlast 2 by the time I stopped playing this? I don't think so. I think I was still working on Outlast 2 uh, by the time I stopped playing this. So, yeah. I'm just gonna take this at my pace. Hey! Okay. I'm gonna take this at my pace. Because this is 3D, and 360, and very loud, and yeah. Just, I, I'm being extra careful, guys. I haven't recorded in VR in a long time, so I just want to be safe. Um, you know what? I'm gonna save some bullets and crouch under it. But Lucas, this is his handiwork, so he's definitely still down here. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Okay. Okay. What are the chances I'm gonna get to go up on that track in, the, in a minecart or something? That would be really weird in VR. <laughs> okay. Just, okay. 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 
I'm just gonna keep putting my ear right up to the boxes until I hear ticking. <laughs> I need to either prove or disprove this theory. Hello. Yeah, I'm just gonna say. Oh, fuck. Die! Die! I should probably back up, right? No, blow up! Blow up! Yeah, there we go! Okay, backing up. Whew! Alright! That's how you do it! <laughs> not gonna blow up? Oh, right, no, you're not one of the splodies. Just kidding! Okay. I'm gonna leave these again, so I have an escape route. Oh, I thought I saw something here, but then uh, I guess I didn't. Okay, well let me check this box. And hear if it's ticking. Nope. I don't know what I just picked up, but I picked up something. You know, some magnum ammo would be nice. Um, that, that, that would be great, because I only have one. Okay. Further into the darkness. Oh god, this is so... Why? I stopped for like nine months right here. <laughs> right, this is the worst place I could have gotten not used to horror VR anymore and then jumped right back in. The worst place. Oh shit. Okay, well let me... Again, guys, I'm just being super careful. Okay. Whee! Oh yeah, all of my limbs tingle when that happens again. <laughs> Hello? Well, which way do I go? Let me make sure I'm not getting flanked. Because that would suck, wouldn't it? Oh, hello. What's this? <gasps> no! How do I not have enough space for this? Okay. Um, what do I need? I'm gonna craft something. Craft regular medicine, why not? Jesus Christ! Okay, I can still... Uh... Whatever. Do that. Ah! I need to drop something. Crap. Gunpowder, why not? Yes. Okay. Here we go. One! One bullet! Go fuck yourself! Oh, right, when you drop something, you can't pick it back up. So that sucks. Um, I'm still gonna save that. Okay. Okay. This is... Oh god! Ah! Oh fuck! I knew I heard one behind me! Shotgun, please! Eat it! Oh. oh god. Okay. Okay! I knew I heard one behind me! That was... That was not great. I keep going up to bodies to loot them if I'm playing too much Skyrim, okay? Oh, fuck. Okay. I don't know. Hmm. I'm gonna go the other way first. I'm gonna go this way first! Oh. Oh! Well, I'm glad I did. I'll pick those up. Why not? Okay. The images just feel so much crisper. And everything just feels more fluid, and I love it. The PS4 Pro VR versus regular. I don't know why I didn't do it sooner. Well, because it's expensive. But, oh god. Oh god! You're here! Back! Oh shit, there's another one! No! No! Any more of you? Wanna come and get it? No! Good. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay. That really scared me. <laughs> he was right in my face. I'm not used to that anymore. I'll assume this is important. How many shotgun shells do I have? A lot. Okay. So what do I need to do here? Uh, probably break through that, right? Here we go. He... He let go, Ethan. There you go. Alright. I'm sure that didn't attract any unwanted attention. 
That's a dead end. Just checking. Just checking. Okay, yeah, we're good. Back we go. Waiting for you, you little bitches. Nope, okay. Huh. Well, my instincts tell me to go towards the light, but I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> Excuse me? I didn't do that. I'm not doing that. Eh. Well, I can't push forward, so that sucks. Yep, I wasted my time, yay. Okay, but I did hear something. Lucas. Okay. This is exactly where I stopped. And I checked my capture and I was like, oh, see, there's an autosave right there too. I was like, yeah. So that's exactly where I stopped. All right, so from here on, it is exact is 100% uncharted territory. And I feel like I'm supposed to go upstairs, but I'm not gonna. Every time you see the ammo count randomly pop up, it's me hitting square because I feel like I should reload even though I don't need to. Okay. Ah! Stupid stuffy nose! Yay, allergies! Yay, springtime! Okay. Let me listen! Nope. Shotgun shells! Sweet! One of these days I'm gonna be like, nope, I don't hear a ticking, and I'm gonna hit it two inches from my nose, and I'm gonna lose my face. <laughs> uh, that's gonna happen, I'm sure. Anything back here? I know I have to collect antique coins to unlock stuff, but... Is that... It is. That's a tripwire. So can I pick it up, or do I have to shoot it? Because I feel like I wouldn't be able to... Sneak under this. Ah, fucking crap! <laughs> yeah, I knew it. Come on, I was clear of that. That's bullshit. Uh, and now my headset's all messed up again because I jumped. I should make this a little tighter so it doesn't move around so much. And okay, that feels better. Yep, yep, yep. You were wrong, okay? You were wrong. There was no ticking, and it blew up anyway. That, what button is it? Here we go. That was wrong. I was putting my head right up next to boxes, and it wasn't doing nothing. Ooh. Oh. 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 More bathtubs. Evil within two vibes in this room. Okay. Sweet. Oh, thought I heard something. All right, what's this? Since January 16th, 2015. Thanks to you guys, it's been about a week since my head's been clear and back to normal, and she still thinks she's got me. You guys really need to work on fixing that. Not only does she look like a little kid, but she's about as stupid as one, too. Okay, so they're talking about Evelyn. Mom and Dad are still totally under, though. I was wondering, is this whole family obsession something you guys programmed into her? It's kind of fucked up. Kinda? November 4th. Wow, almost a year later. That bitch Mia is still somewhere in between Evie La La Land and reality. She gets pretty violent, so I locked her up in a cell. And that's where I found her, at the beginning of the game. I thought maybe Evelyn would get mad since Mia's her favorite and all, but she doesn't seem to care. She actually goes and visits her sometimes. She thinks Mia's her mommy. Like I said, your bioweapon is fucked up. Is this Lucas? Evelyn's family obsession is getting out of hand. She's making everyone kidnap more and more assholes off the street to add to her freak show of a family. Maybe she's getting tired of Mia not coming around, but it's a pain in the ass for me because I gotta clean up the mess whenever... Whenever someone new comes along. So it was Lucas with Umbrella too? That can't be right. By the way, Evie's looking sick or something. Her skin is getting all wrinkly and she's getting gray hairs? Is that supposed to happen? It's almost like she's getting old all of a sudden. What? 
Weird. Why would that be happening? Is she using too much of her gift? Oh, what is that? What is this in here? Oh no. Oh dearie me. If you could move prompt, that'd be good. MOVE! Fine. This report details the symptoms that appear when the bacterium that grows inside of the E-Series infects a human. Be sure to read this document thoroughly before dealing with E-Series weaponized assets. Okay, sure thing, buddy. Hereafter referred to as mold. Yeah, great. Initial infection. The mold ingests nutrients from the subject's body to propagate itself and slowly takes over cells within the body. As a side effect of this, the infected subject gains remarkable regenerative abilities. During experiments, we removed arms and legs from test subjects oh, and found that they were able to co-opt the amputated limbs in a matter of minutes. They can regrow their limbs back. Yeah, well, not as if they were never taken in the first place, right? That's kind of what we were doing with, uh, with, with Jack. We, like, we literally blew him up to the point where all that was left was, like, you know, the hips down. And then you, we saw what you, you saw what he came back as after that. And then we, we like, we melted Marguerite into a pool of acidy blued, and she came back as freaky spider bitch. So, yeah. Shut up. Mid stage infection. Once the mold reaches the brain, the subject's thoughts become in tune with those of the E series asset, with Evelyn. Is that why E series Evelyn E? Is that a thing? I get it now. <laughs> the subject starts to hear things and experience hallucinations and soon comes under complete control of the E-series asset. If this state continues, the host will lose all sense of ego. I think there's more important things than that. After every cell in the body has been taken over by the mold, the subject begins to lose their human form. Physical mutations differ from case to case, but all result in him or her acquiring incredible physical strength. All the mold look pretty similar to me. The molded people but jack and uh marguerite and all them were very different containing a subject at this stage would be extremely difficult yeah thanks learn that wait learn that the hard way can i turn it around nothing on the back okay i need to get better at doing that that was something in until dawn that you guys kind of got annoyed with when sarah and i would pick up documents we we would never turn them around <laughs> we didn't know we could so yeah my bad when you pick up a document just check the back of it just in case Ooh, here's. Here's hair! Is that Evelyn? Five minutes after dose. Vomiting. A lot of vomiting, actually. E necrotoxin. E series dosage test. That's the thing I have. That, that, that's this thing, right? It's, it's the necrotoxin, right? Ten minutes after dose. Death. died 12 minutes after dose cell calcification hmm that's not good well, calcification is uh 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 it's uh what does that mean crap i don't remember what calcification means editing genation feel free to put the definition up on the screen or something i don't know yeah okay you know what nope i'm gonna check the rest of the room first because i don't know what's gonna happen when i interact with that MY GOD, SO MUCH READING! Okay. This project was instigated in 2000 as one of several concepts for the company's next boss, Next Generation Experimental Battlefield Superiority Initiative. Great. Working with te technical assistance from HCF to develop a bioweapon for neutralizing combatants and mass with minimal direct contact. Next boss was later folded and all its assets diverted into this project. I heard that Chris Redfield came back in a DLC for this game. And he's, like, total military dude, right? I mean, I didn't play the other Resident Evils besides the demos for 5 and 6. So I don't know the whole story there. But I do know Chris Redfield is, like, a series favorite. What makes this project markedly different from conventional weapons is its ability to turn enemy combatants into allies, converting hostile elements into willing servants. Since this effectively eliminates the costs of not only POW handling, but also combat itself, it's no wonder we had the blank and even blanks blank organization chomping at the bit to get on board. I don't... 
I don't, I don't know. It's a three-letter word, a four-letter word, and then a three-letter word. I don't know who that could be. 